Good morning, motor cars. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and this day in history, a couple very significant events happened. In 1980, John Lennon was shot and murdered in New York City. And for those of you that remember the Beatles, obviously most of us have heard of the Beatles, but I grew up listening to the Beatles. It was very, very sad to see that John was shot. And also in 1941, uh, President Roosevelt declared war on Japan the day after Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. And yesterday was the 75th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Uh, most of us were not around, but some of us had parents that spoke about that day and what it was like to, um, to, to be in America at that time. In America, uh, we're a very proud country, and uh, we don't take second place to anybody. And here at Motor Cars, we don't want to take second place to anybody either. And one of the things that we can all improve on is our cleanliness of our work area. And Chuck is going to be inspecting everybody's work area, so take a little extra time and clean up your desks, your shop area around you, any place that a customer can see. We want to make sure that the service drives and the outside areas are uh, pristine and ready for our service guests. Uh, we are having a pancake flip um, on the 19th and there's also a contest for the ugliest sweater. And I know in the past couple years there have been some pretty ugly sweaters. So I wrote an article for the Motor Cars newsletter and it had to do with everybody wants a guy. So what that means is, in my perspective for the, our business, we want to know, we want to be that car guy. How do you become the car guy or the car gal in this business? I mean at home I have a tree guy, I have um, a furnace or you, you know, a, a heating air conditioning guy. Um, and I have somebody that comes in and does minor home repairs uh, for me. So these are all guys that I trust and I call up. And it's not about price. It's about getting the job done by somebody that you know and somebody that you um, feel is giving you a very good value. So how do you become that, that service guy or that sales guy or that sales gal? How do you become that expert? Well, it all comes down to me, what I feel is it has to do with creating a relationship. So when a customer comes in, we want to start to learn a little bit about them, about what their goals are for how long do they plan to keep their car? Uh, where do they drive? Do they, do they drive a lot? Do they drive a little? Is it something that they drive in the wintertime or is it just a summer car? We want to do what is best for them to maintain their goals not necessarily what is best for us. Put the guest in the right car when you sell them, not the car that you can make the most gross on. Uh, we want to be able to become that guy or that gal, and to do that, you have to gain their trust. So if you want to define a car guy, you, you should be looking for somebody that you relate to, somebody that you trust, somebody that you feel you can do long-term business with. And that's what you have to work on to, to gain their trust, to gain their respect. Um, you need to be able to uh, provide and and give them what they need. And also, if you say something, if you promise something, you need to come forth and you need to deliver on those promises. You need to repair their car on time at the right price. You need to find them the color of the car that they want. Uh, you need to make sure that you do everything that they ask of and even some things that they don't ask of. And, and to me, that's what makes somebody... Um, be loyal to you and that's how you get retention is through loyalty when there's time for follow-up make sure you follow them up call them back if you say you're gonna call them back um, and the last thing I think you need to be is is extremely knowledgeable if your guy or gal says something uh, and you need to be able to believe them that that is true so those are some quick things that I that I believe are very important to becoming the car guy or the car gal so I hope everybody has a great day today and get ready for winter because it's sure coming soon. Have a great day, everybody.